If you want to be a true competitive beast or a fantastic content creator, it's important to improve yourself constantly. You need to be aware of your blind spots and for that you need other people's insight and feedback. Unfortunately, feedback sometimes hurts. We might deny the feedback or think the other person is just being a major asshole and needs to mind their own business. This can cost us a lot of energy. So why does feedback hurt us? And more importantly, what can we do about it? Hey guys, welcome to the Senpai and today I'd like to take you with me in one of the most difficult skills to master and that's receiving feedback. Yes, it's an actual skill. Getting solid, usable information from feedback without getting emotional or defensive. A small disclaimer, I'm not talking about those five-year-old kids who tell they did certain things with your mom. Hey, fuck you! Because I was already on that good ghost and then I fucking got named! <laughs> That's an entirely different video on pseudo-parenting in an online environment. I'm going to throw it out there. People online tend to suck at receiving feedback. I'll give you an example. Like the goody two-shoes I am, I recently told a tank in a dungeon in Final Fantasy XIV that they should use shield lob to pull mobs instead of just running in. Only to be told to shut the fuck up, mind your own business. Thankfully, the community is pretty friendly and these are exceptions, but there are however games where I've been told to... So why are people triggered? Well, Douglas Stone and Sheila Heen wrote a great book about it. Basically, there's three reasons why we're triggered by feedback. The first one is called the truth trigger. This happens when you get feedback that to you is incorrect. You get triggered because in your opinion, the other person is saying incorrect things and you have an urge to correct them or call them out. For example, someone calling you a smurf during a match of Overwatch and saying that they're going to report you. You feel that this is completely wrong and uncalled for and decide to react. The second one is called the relationship trigger. Simply put, when you dislike somebody, you're less likely to accept feedback coming from them. For example, I highly doubt that you'll take constructive feedback from a guy who just called you a stupid feeder at the beginning of your game of League of Legends. Especially if he's pointing out crucial weaknesses in your game that you have to improve. The third one is called the identity trigger. It's when feedback makes you question your abilities and makes you doubt yourself. Like when you want to stop sim racing just because somebody told you that you have terrible braking technique. You suddenly think that you're the worst sim racer ever and that you'll never be as good as the rest and you start entering a spiral of doubt. So how do you avoid getting triggered? Some people are just being ridiculous or triggering you just because they want a response. Sometimes it's even part of another team's tactic to get in your head. If you feel that interacting with this fantastic human specimen will not be worth the effort, feel free to use mute and just do your thing. There's a reason a lot of games have a dedicated mute all button. It's important to know that we usually judge someone on their actions rather than their intentions. So make that your first reflex. Is what you're hearing the same as what you're actually saying? When we're emotional, it's always hard to separate fact from feeling and this clouds our judgment. Try and listen to learn and not to react. Using open questions like, how did you come to this conclusion? Or can you give me some more details on that? Changes your emotional response into a desire to learn. Ask yourself, is it really worth it throwing hundreds of hours of practice and fun you've had with your friends in the trash can? Because you've got negative feedback once. Now this is where the growth mindset comes into play and if you didn't watch that video yet make sure you do. Feedback is usually a source for growth. Once you learn to love your critics it will be able to shrug things off more easily or you'll be able to use them as feeding grounds to your success. Make those backseat gamers your secret advisors in how to get better at what you do. Aside from receiving feedback, it's also important to know how you should give 
feedback, but that's a topic for an entirely separate video and I'll put that one in the description the moment it gets released for now. Focus on taking the first steps into managing your reactions, emotions and thoughts when receiving feedback. It'll make your online life a bit easier, especially for you content creators out there. There you go, I hope I got to inspire you to start looking at feedback as a positive thing, a base for growth. And if you like this video, as usual, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of these. Are you curious about more in-depth information or just looking for a more personal approach? Check out my website in the description to keep updated. That's it guys, senpai out. See you guys soon, bye-bye.